Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tonight, we are going to be doing, of course, one hand, because I'm gonna take off the other one tomorrow. But for this look, um, I was practicing a little beautiful cow print, and I thought it could go with this dip color, which is Ombre Tembi from Cosmo Color Dip Powders. So I thought we'd try this together and then we're gonna do some rhinestones as well. We're doing um, some of our uh, coffin, coffin nails. I can't keep up the coffin, stiletto, round. There's just so many. So my family's been complaining about the smell in the house with the, uh, with the acrylic liquid. So now I'm gonna have to do something totally different and pretty much learn how to work with gel. So I got the hard gel. I'm gonna try it. Um, I don't know how this is gonna go, so I'm going to be pausing in case that I have to spend extra time filing down the nail. Um, I don't know how to work the apex that well because it's totally different from acrylic. I'm only used to acrylic and dip powder so far. So this is going to be something new for me, but I always like the new things to do. So what we're going to be doing with this hand is um, we're going to do two, two layers of the dip powder. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, top it off with the uh, clear dip as well, so it doesn't mess up the color. And like I said, I don't know how much of filing I'm gonna have to do because what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna go ahead and try to put the, um, the dip powder first. And I'm gonna try to not file only because I'm going to add some gel over it. And then I can go ahead and file it down, uh, but it might not come out right. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably file down one of the ones with the, um, the dip powder, which would make more sense to do so that I don't give myself extra work. But you know what? I need to know what's going to work. So I'm going to have to uh, experiment myself. So let's see how pretty this color is. Everybody's been asking for me to do the cow print nails, so I thought I thought we'd try it. it. Should be cute. I just want to see how pretty this color is gonna be. like a shimmery pink. Mm. I think it should be cute. On these two, I also do have, um, I have a clear one as well. I'm thinking we're going to use that one. We're gonna first do this one. And this looks like a really beautiful color. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna go look for the other white color that I have for the dip. So we're going to use this white, it says N plus B plus C, dipping powder, and this one is 101 I guess, this is a totally different brand, um, they have them in the city of Garden Grove that I know, they have this specific brand on some of the nail supply places. I'm gonna do two of these white because I'm thinking I'm still gonna probably use the white um, nail polish. Well, actually, gel. So 
sure it's gonna be a white. It is so cold out there, you guys. I went out there to file down my nails so that I wouldn't have too much dust in the house. It's freezing. That was actually cold. But yesterday was super hot. So, to make this video a little shorter, I'm going to go ahead and pause and then I'll show you guys. Okay, so we went ahead and did two coats. Now remember, we're going to be working with gel to encapsulate everything that we're going to be doing. So, now the work begins as far as like filing it. You have to file the nail down. You have to fix the shape and then we're gonna do some artwork we're gonna go ahead and do our little um, cow print so this should this look should turn out really cute so I'm gonna go ahead and pause you guys and I'll be back so we have filed around them so now I'm going around the cuticle I'm sure you guys can see them so you guys, I'm going around this part, the cuticle, to kind of give it that little shape. We're working on the apex, and even though it looks all crooked, remember we have to put gel. So I am thinking this is going to look better than what it's looking like. So I'm going to go around the cuticle area to clean it up. So when we do apply the gel, the hard gel, gonna look semi okay now remember I don't know how to work with gel but based on what I've learned what I've seen um, I think I got this and if not then I will just have to practice some more until I can get it right because this is like what I'm gonna have to be using for now on because everybody is a bunch of little complainers in my house. Nobody wants to smell that acrylic smell. That liquid is just horrible for them. I personally love smelling it. I don't mind. It doesn't bother me at all, but I believe my husband has said that it's not good. It's not, it's not healthy for the kids to be breathing that. So. That is why I went ahead and got the gel. And now I'm just gonna have to learn how to work with the gel. So that's what it is. Okay, so remember, if you wanna do this look, I decided to just shape it up. I figured I'm not gonna take too much product off, so I'm just gonna kinda shape it around, make it look semi-cute. So when we put the other overlays and then I don't know if I want to add some more glitter in on because you know me I always end up throwing something totally different into the look and um, it just depends what is inspiring you at that moment to do. so I always go with what I'm feeling now this is supposed to be a nice cute glittering with system stuff so I'm sure once we put this stuff it should look different and I'm thinking this kind of okay so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys on the first application little trash can here oh then I have to throw the dust on the floor and pass a vacuum again. okay so I was looking at the little glitters that I had in here I mean this is glittery enough I think I have one in here that I kind of want to do I just don't know if it's going to look good Just do, just do one. See how it's 
what if it doesn't look good, huh? So we'll start with And we are going to wear our glove because I'm working with my hands up a lot. You want to use the gloves because I, I do feel that you start getting like all these bleach spots from the human lamp. Let's not risk it because I do love my nails. Hands and I take care of them. So I'm gonna use whatever brush I can find in here. supposed to be like a nice thin layer and then obviously the other layer is going to be thicker so yeah I'm thinking um, this is just to do the first layer okay. so don't put your gel right next to the lamp ruin it I always do in a lot of my products because I'm like do 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 in space half of the time. So I really forget things. So I'm gonna pause you guys while my finger goes into the We went ahead and did kind of like if you're polishing your nail. So now we're gonna grab some more. Because now we have to build the apex. So I'm gonna try to show you guys and since I am really bad at messing with phones. I'm gonna get like the close to you guys. So pretty much you're gonna put the product up here. Now you never wanna leave your product, okay? Your brush always wants to be close to it. So obviously you wanna go a little faster, but because I'm trying to show you guys. Probably, I'm thinking three layers because I need some nice cute apex. And it looks like I have to work with this. So it's like very sticky. Um, okay, so I do have to bring my finger down. So you kind of have to swirl it around, bring the product down. not that easy to mess with. I thought it was going to be easier, but this is the first time we try it like this.
see it looks super weird. It's gonna take me a while to really get used to this. But I'm thinking I'm gonna like this just in case I'm just gonna sweep it apart. I shouldn't. And into the lap. Okay, so we are going in, I'm going for the third. I'm going to try to really concentrate on this now because if I do not like the way it looks, then I'm going to have to put a palette and it's going to be really hoping because I need to build up the paint at the same This is seriously like artwork. This is art. I give props to all you nail techs out there. This is so much work. Just building up the apex is already like, ooh, a lot of work. Plus we have to file. I don't know if I'm gonna have to do another one because I, I don't feel that it looks like the apex does not feel like I don't know maybe after I file down I just I want that little like that little nice cute anyways I'm gonna pause you guys for a minute and then I'll, I guess I'll show you guys how I'm gonna put the little glitter because I have no idea actually although you know what I should be putting it on already in case I decide I want to do a little layer on the top so you know what let me show you guys how I'm gonna do that because I am gonna have to encapsulate it probably okay, so I'm thinking That alone looks cute for that one. I'm trying to make it match. Yes. Okay, so see how we did that? We just sprinkled it on the top, and then I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over it. Actually, I don't even have to go over it again. Because it already has the gel, maybe I should just press it. To the lamp. Alrighty, guys. So we have now filed them down. Um, I left both of these a little thinner because I am going to put gel, and then these you could see the little apex. Same. Not the greatest. Um, I, it's definitely a lot harder to work with um, gel. I'm so used to working with acrylic powders that it's like, ooh. But I'm going to master this because I, it just takes time, I think, of getting used to. So then it should be good. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put two coats of this white so you can get any, any white nail polish. And either you can do nail polish or you can do gel whichever one you want to do so we're going to do two coats of this that looks really pretty so we'll do two coats and i'll be back to show you guys we're going to do it all right so we did our two coats we haven't put any gel yet i hope 
you all could see what I'm doing. So now we're gonna go ahead and do our little cow print. So you want to kind of scribble around. So we're going to kind of be sloppy on this. Stick your hand in the lamp for about 30 seconds and then do, do the other finger for 30 seconds as well so it holds and it doesn't go all over the place. And then um, we're going to go ahead and cure it for quite a while. I'm thinking two minutes should be good. Alrighty guys, so as you guys can see, we have cured that and now we're going to go ahead and put the, um, the clear gel that we have here. Let's see how this look is going to look like. Now I'm thinking I was going to go ahead and maybe put the video out like this after I'm done, but I'm thinking maybe I should just do the other hand. Um, See how it's gonna look like with both hands it's always so cool everybody always loves it when you put both hands and obviously we don't have a lot of time sometimes because we're busy but I don't know I might and I might not so I don't know and I have to think about it for a few seconds here so this is what it's looking like so far and we did gel so notice how the little apex lifted up okay so we're gonna put gel on the nails it definitely brings out all that shininess gel is definitely great for that if you love shiny nails as much as I do then this is the right product for you to use Keeps the nail super shiny. Look at this. So what we're gonna do with, with these nails, we're gonna go ahead and make a mat and we're gonna go ahead and put some beautiful colorful rhinestones. And we're gonna probably do it on the pink as well. So far, it's looking cute, but we'll see. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna go ahead and put some some of these little rhinestones and I'm gonna go from here all the way down here then we're gonna put our matte coat which is there we go I'm gonna use this one we're gonna cure it in the lamp for two minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and add some rhinestones around here just to see how it's gonna look and then we'll be back that way I don't take up any more minutes So we got some gems, 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 gems. rhinestones on that finger. Then we put two on the top, three on the top, and four on the bottom on the side. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply some of them in between. you guys with one of them that I'm gonna do I don't have I still haven't you guys you know the last time I told you guys I don't have any more glue I literally do not have glue still I'm waiting for it to arrive which is why I can probably do it I'm waiting for it to arrive should be here I, I believe tomorrow but let me give you guys an idea of what we'll be doing So 
we're gonna put them like just in between. All over the place. So I'll just show you guys. Alrighty guys, we are done. This is going to be the look. So we did some of the um, rhinestones on the top. Now, this time I can't really see, but I'm hoping I get them on the right section. And then we did four. We did these little, little ones. And some other little ones. They're like um, holographic ones. So see, we went ahead and used our, our matte top coat. We cured it for two minutes. After we cured it for two minutes, we went ahead and put some little rhinestones. See this little spots down here. And then with this one, we used um, some of this little glitter stuff. Right here, with the, I showed you guys how to do it with the gel. Um, it was definitely really hard working with gel, honestly. You really have to like practice a whole lot. To me, the most important thing is Apex. It's something that I've been working really hard with for many years. And I feel like I finally got it with my acrylic, but now I have to switch to gel. So this is gonna be the journey now and the challenge. So this is pretty much the first time doing it like this. I did one of them. The other day but it wasn't like fresh like the brand new nail and everything the tip it was just like I had still acrylic underneath so these are actually fresh new set and these are gel I feel that they look way too thin I really do like that thick apex I love little apex But these are definitely really cute. My kids have been asking me to do this look for the longest and some of my YouTubers as well. So finally did it for you guys. I'm gonna post it on my Instagram. I'm gonna go ahead and post it on my TikTok. I think it's really cute. Not bad at all. I might just do the other hand and post it as well. I put it under a nail blog for this one. Um, this is definitely the cow print one. I love it. It's cute. And we used, for this one, we used the white pot from Sally Beauty Supply. And then we used the matte top coat for, for the, um, when we did the white. And don't forget we did the little prints, the black prints with the um, gel as well, here it is. So overall, it looks really cute. I just like to do the other hand actually, I'm really liking this look. I've never uh, done a cow print, I'm definitely gonna try it out. And it's really simple to do, I showed all of you guys what tools to use on that one video. Um, if you go to that video on how to do the uh, cow print, it shows you what tools to use. Simple. And it actually looks really cute. I would have done a creamy look, but I don't know, for some reason, I thought I'd go with pink. Check out our Apex. for being the first time I'm definitely gonna do other things differently I will show you guys and keep you updated so you all can learn the same techniques that I'm learning and you can choose to do it differently or whichever way you want to do it I think what I'm gonna do different next time I'm gonna go ahead and try to do the sugar powder uh, with the cow print and then we'll see we'll get a different look you guys have a great night. I will see you on my next video.